Hi everyone, my name is Mara and welcome to my channel Data Pairs. Today I will be talking to you about one of the best themes that I've seen everywhere online, on Twitter, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and I just recently started playing with it a little bit myself. And what is this thing that AI generated reports? I'm pretty sure you already have seen someone talking about this and I'm going to be testing one of the tools that allows you to basically generate this dashboard ideas for you. And that tool, that AI tool is called Mid Journey. We are going to test Mid Journey. We are going to see if it's any good and how you can basically use it to improve your own designs in Power BI or any tool really, not just Power BI. Let's jump into my laptop and see what this buzz is all about. I'll see you there. So this is Mid Journey and if you want to find Mid Journey, you just have to do a quick Google search and just search by Mid Journey, or then you can type midjourney.com directly in your browser. Once you're in, you have two options and you can either sign in or join. Of course, I did already have or did sign in already, but for the sake of this video and the demo, I'm just going to join again if I can. Let's see. Because I did join already, it's not allowing me to uh, kind of rejoin again. But the process for joining MidJourney is quite easy. You just have to provide your email, your password and your username. And then you just have to verify your email. And that's pretty much it. And then you will have access to a web page that looks kind of like this one. And you can see already what other people are typing, which is pretty interesting. And you can see already some AI generated images that look very artistic and not like a dashboard at all, but we will get there. You do have a quick start guide if you want to check this out. Before you start playing with Midjourney, I would highly recommend it because it has step by step how you should be using Midjourney. And by the way, this is not free. This will only allow you to generate up to basically 25 requests. So be careful about that. And then you have like the pricing page here. So basically, I think the next tier is like $10 a month and you have 20 minutes a month. I'm not sure what that means exactly in terms of the requests that you can send to the platform. But anyway, just be aware that you will have like a free trial, which allows you to have kind of 25 requests sent through Midjourney. So let's go back to Midjourney now. And here, the first thing that you need to do is to join one of the newbies rooms. So let's join this newbies one, two, eight room. And you can see there are loads of stuff already here. People like trying to generate AI images. And the first thing that we will do here, or the thing, the first thing that we need to do is to write here on the this command forward slash image. And this is the command that you need to use to basically generate an image. And then you need to give it the prompt. So the prompt can be something as simple as dashboard, oops, dashboard for a supply chain company in blue tones, blue and white. Let's write blue and white tones. Now let's hit enter and wait for the AI to generate our ideas for dashboards. And I'm really curious to see what exactly this is going to generate because sometimes it generates things that are quite interesting. Some other times you need to take it with a pinch of salt and just take some ideas out of it because they are not really good dashboards, I would say. So this might take a while. So I'm just going to fast forward the process a little bit. So the AI already generated the dashboards or reports for me. Uh, I wrote dashboard, by the way, because I think it will interpret better what I'm trying to say. Report, I'm not so sure. Let's check what Midjourney generated for us. So these are the images for the dashboards. I mean, they don't look that bad. They look quite okay. And they can give you some ideas on the color scheme and the layouts. So these ones are not that bad. I've seen some stuff online that looks, I mean, visually, it looks great. I'm, it looks very nice, very artistic, but is it really useful in practice? I don't think so. But I think, for example, these dashboards that Midjourney generated are quite good, actually. I mean, I like the color scheme. I like the layouts. 
I mean, I like it generally. What I would do here is basically take these layouts and use it as my own inspiration in my own reports. You can also, this UI, U2, U3, U4 are for the resolution of the images. So you can say I want U4 resolution. And then this is like for different versions of the image. And I also think this is quite like Power BI style. I think, I feel like you could definitely build something that looks pretty similar to this in Power BI. It doesn't look that bad, but let's try again because I've seen some examples and I want to try to test this AI to the limit. So let's type again image and write a new, a new uh, prompt for it to generate more dashboards for us and I want a minimalistic dashboard for a shipping company and let's test it with loads of different colors and an image of a ship. Let's see what this will generate for us. I'm quite curious now. You might lose your kind of um, prompt in the middle of all the all these messages. I always lose my messages, so you might have to be scrolling up and down a little bit in the process of generating the dashboards. But yeah, just don't lose sight of your dashboard, basically. So here are my results and these ones don't look that good. So I think this AI really depends on the instructions that you're trying to give him or her. Either a she or a he, we don't know, it's in it. This is what Mid Journey or the AI generated for us. It kind of followed my instructions, I would say. Hey, you can see a boat, you can see loads of colors. It's not great though. So I'm pretty sure you probably wouldn't be searching for something like this, like give me a dashboard with loads of colors and a big boat image in the middle. But it does give you some ideas probably on the color scheme because the color scheme is not bad at least for for example for this uh like bottom corner like left corner dashboard but it doesn't look great so you need to be careful with the instructions that you're giving to this ai so it actually generates something useful for you let's try a different instruction now so the third one and the last one let's put image and let's say power bi dashboard for a pets company. Let's do this again. And now I'm not saying necessarily I want X, Y, Z colors. Let's see what the AI itself will generate for us. And let's see if it's useful, if we could take ideas from it to build our own report in Power BI. This is what the AI generated and I'm not sure why, but I noticed that every time I'm typing Power BI in my prompt, it automatically assumes I want some kind of yellow and black dashboard or report. I'm not sure why, to be honest. But again, if you saw the first example, you will see that you can kind of write in your prompt the exact colors that you want in your uh, dashboard image. So might kind of get around this very fairly easily. This is the dashboards that it generated. I mean, they are quite cute because they have pets, right? They are quite cute. It is interesting. It gives you some ideas at least, but how is this useful in Power BI? How could you apply this to Power BI? So the first thing I would look at is the color scheme. Is the color scheme good? Because if it is good and I don't have to follow any branding, then I can create my own branding and I can use the color scheme from this AI generated image if I, if I want to, which is quite cool and saves a lot of time. So I would definitely, again, if I don't have like a color, a color scheme predefined from branding, from the company branding that I'm working on or for my customer already, I would definitely use this as a basis to choose my color scheme or theme and also I would see things like the layouts. Are the layouts good? In this case, I find this layout in the in this corner here kind of okay. I mean, I don't like the big image of that dog, that little dog in the middle. I think it takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of attention from things, from other things that 
you should be paying more attention to because in the end this is a dashboard this is not like a painting a picasso painting i do like the color scheme from this one and kind of the layout if you take out the big dog pictures you have to take these with a pinch of salt you need to be a little bit critical of whatever the ai is trying to show you first color scheme second check the layouts if they are okay then replicate the layout why not and then some general ideas like for example i quite like the picture of the dog i wouldn't make it so big because it takes too much space and too much attention goes to this picture when this is again a report but I quite like the idea, so I would probably try to put like an image of a dog or something more related to pets, which is the industry for this re particular report. So I would definitely check if I could add an image of like a pet because it goes with the probably the branding of this company, if it's a company that has or is in the pets industry. Yeah, but I would be very careful about using it like this which is like very big image i can only see dogs <laughs> and this is not the point of any report right you should be able to see insights values figures charts whatever these are the things that should be taking the attention not a photo of a dog so this is the things that i would do and by the way if you haven't watched some of my or any of my previous videos how would i take for example the color palette from here so i have this little thing called eyedropper that i use very often and this is like an add-on for google chrome that you can install on your laptop or on your browser and then you just have to color pick whatever you have displayed in your page and in this case like yellow i know there are different ways to do this probably better ways and faster ways so yeah do your own research and then I just build my scene based on this X codes that this uh, little add-on is giving me. And the layouts, I would build the layouts in Figma. If you know already, I use Figma to build my layouts in Power BI for multiple reasons, because Figma is great. Figma is free. And Figma allows me to have like loads of add-ons with icons, with images. You can even find pets images. You have like the icons of pets or for the pet industry. So it allows you to be very creative with the design Figma. Also, uh, one of the reasons that I choose to build my designs outside of Power BI is because if you try to build all the elements in Power BI itself, like all the box, text boxes, all the like little squares for, I don't know, highlighting something or just to build the layout and the design of your report, you need multiple different elements if you want to build like a very good design. And even though those elements like a text box or a square, they don't contain any data, they can make your report slower. So don't do that. Or if you don't have like any shapes or text boxes or whatever, you only have charts or visuals containing data in your report, then you're fine. But if you're trying to build like all the design in Power BI itself and you add a lot of text boxes, a lot of boxes like shapes and things like that, believe me, it will make your front end look a little bit, yeah, weird and slow. What is my conclusion from all of this? Like I said before, I really think these kind of tools are great. I use ChatGPT so often now because it is just so great. And I might be doing a video about that later, but you need to take it with a pinch of salt. This is something for you to use as your starting point, I would say. If you're not that creative, if you need some ideas, but I wouldn't necessarily copy exactly the same because some of the times you just have to take things here and there and just adapt it to your own purpose and your own use case. So be careful with that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like the content of this video or if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with my latest content and videos like comment down below it really does help me continuing to produce valuable content for you guys and also if you're interested about power bi report design and you want to learn more about it you want to take kind of the next step then check my new bootcamp that i'm going to launch in march the link is in the description down below in the description box so check that if you're interested and i'll see you in the next video